After Ja'far radiallahu anhu passed away, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu lost his wife Umm Rumman, the mother of Aisha radiallahu anha. And after the idda of Asma radiallahu anha, Abu Bakr and Asma radiallahu anha got married. And so now she marries Tabarakallah Abu Bakr radiallahu anha. And she's pregnant. And they go to make hajj while she's pregnant. And guess what happens? She gives birth on their way to hajj. And so now Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa like, what should she do? She's in me fast now. She is bleeding a particular type of blood that we're not supposed to do salah in. And they're going for hajj. And in Umrah or hajj, there are parts that we need to be in wudu. So what should she do? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa doesn't say, oh, she should turn back or we should stay here and no one should go. Or, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam just teaches the fiqh of what to do and she continues on the way and makes hajj, the farewell hajj with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The same hajj in which Aisha radiallahu anha also got her period and that she shared the fact that she had gotten her period. And now all of the Muslims until the end of time know that Asma radiallahu anha was in postpartum bleeding during hajj and that Aisha radiallahu anha was in her period during hajj so that all of us women today, when Allah has honored us with something that's so critical for the continuation of humanity, that we do not feel like it's something terrible, like it's a punishment from Allah, like it's something that we need to be ashamed of because it's a natural part of our bodies that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us with and we can still go for hajj and umrah even in this state. What a mercy from Allah that he has given these women as examples to us. That we have because of their modesty, because of their modesty, we know these stories. Because their modesty meant commitment to Allah. And what better commitment than being so clear about what's happening to you that you can help other women centuries later.